Astronomers have just uncovered a discovery that's shaking up our understanding of the universe's timeline. Two independent research teams have detected oxygen in the most distant galaxy ever observed, Jade's GSC 14-0. This breakthrough was made possible thanks to the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array perched high in Chile's Atacama Desert. The galaxy itself was first spotted by the Webb Telescope just last year, but it was ALMA's exceptional sensitivity that confirmed its mind-blowing distance and, even more exciting, detected oxygen within it. So what makes this find so special? Jade's GSC 14-0 now holds the title of the farthest confirmed galaxy ever seen, sitting in the Fornax constellation. But here's where it gets really wild. The light we're seeing from this galaxy left it 13.4 billion years ago. Those photons have been racing through the expanding universe for billions of years before finally landing in our telescopes. Essentially, we're looking at this galaxy as it appeared when the universe was less than 300 million years old, just after the Big Bang. And detecting oxygen in a galaxy from that era, that's huge. It took the combined power of two of the most advanced astronomical instruments on Earth and in space to pull it off. A cosmic tag team between the Webb Telescope and ALMA that's rewriting what we thought we knew about the early universe. The Webb Telescope first picked up the galaxy using its powerful infrared vision, which can cut through cosmic dust and spot ancient light that's been stretched as the universe expanded. But it was ALMA that made the real headline, the discovery of oxygen. ALMA isn't your average telescope. It's a massive network of 66 ultra-precise antennas spread across the dry plains of Chile's Atacama Desert, all working together like one super-sensitive eye. It operates in millimeter and submillimeter wavelengths, exactly the sweet spot for detecting faint signals from elements like oxygen and galaxies that lie at the very edge of the observable universe. What's truly remarkable? The precision. ALMA was able to pin down the distance to this distant galaxy with an astonishing accuracy of just 0.005%. To put that in everyday terms, it's like measuring a distance of one kilometer and being off by only five centimeters. That level of detail is vital when trying to piece together the timeline of a universe and accurately place ancient galaxies where they belong in cosmic history. When astronomers talk about heavy elements, they don't mean things like iron or lead in everyday terms. In cosmic language, anything heavier than hydrogen and helium earns the heavy label. After the Big Bang, the universe was mostly just hydrogen and helium. No oxygen, no carbon, none of the elements essential for life. Everything else, including oxygen, had to be forged later inside the fiery hearts of stars. And when those massive stars reached the end of their lives, they exploded as supernovae, scattering these precious elements across galaxies. But this process takes time. Lots of it. Two separate research teams made this discovery, one led by Stefano Carniani from Italy, the other by Sander Schaus from the Netherlands. They each published their results in top-tier journals, Astronomy and Astrophysics and the Astrophysical Journal, using different techniques, but both came to the same groundbreaking conclusion. Oxygen is really there. This double confirmation makes the finding rock solid, and the technology behind it? Absolutely cutting edge. Just spotting a galaxy this far away is already a monumental task, but actually detecting specific elements inside that galaxy? That's on another level. Remember, the light from this galaxy left more than 13.4 billion years ago, and on its journey across an expanding universe, its wavelengths were stretched, what astronomers call redshift. ALMA's ability to pick out the faint, red-shifted fingerprints of oxygen in such a distant galaxy is a jaw-dropping testament to how far modern astronomy has come. This discovery perfectly highlights the incredible power of multiple observatories working together. As Associate Professor Richard Bowens from Leiden Observatory pointed out, it beautifully demonstrates the synergy between ALMA and the Webb Telescope, a partnership capable of uncovering the earliest stages of galaxy formation and evolution. For decades, Astronomers believe that the earliest galaxies should have been almost chemically untouched, made up almost entirely of 
hydrogen, and helium, the simplest elements created during the Big Bang. In those models, heavier elements, like oxygen, were expected to build up slowly over billions of years, created as stars lived, burned, and eventually exploded. But this discovery turns that expectation on its head. This ancient galaxy isn't just chemically evolved, it's far more advanced than anyone thought possible for that early era. According to the researchers, it contains nearly 10 times more heavy elements than current models said it should at that point in the universe's timeline. In other words, the universe may have been forming stars and recycling material at a much faster rate than we imagined. Sander Schaus, the lead author of the Dutch-led study, summed it up perfectly. This discovery is like finding a teenager in a room where you were only expecting newborns. Astronomers anticipated spotting chemically primitive baby galaxies in the early universe, but instead, they found one that had already gone through substantial chemical evolution, a cosmic adolescent surrounded by infants. This surprising level of maturity raises fundamental questions about how galaxies formed in the first place. For oxygen to exist in such significant amounts, multiple generations of massive stars must have already lived, exploded, and enriched their surroundings. But this seems to have happened in just 300 million years after the Big Bang, a time frame previously thought to be far too short for this process. Stefano Carniani, who led the Italian team, emphasized that this discovery could reshape our entire understanding of cosmic history. It forces astronomers to ask, did galaxies form earlier and faster than we thought? Were the processes of star formation and chemical evolution far more efficient in the early universe? One possibility is that star formation in the infant universe was hyper-efficient. The very first stars, known as Population 3 stars, are believed to have been extremely massive, possibly hundreds of times the mass of our Sun. These giant stars would have burned through their nuclear fuel incredibly fast, likely surviving just a few million years before dying in powerful supernova explosions that scattered heavy elements like oxygen into the surrounding space. If these earliest stellar generations were dominated by massive stars rather than smaller ones like our Sun, a situation astronomers call a top-heavy stellar population, this could have drastically sped up the chemical enrichment of their host galaxies. Another intriguing possibility is that galaxies may have started forming even earlier than our current models predict, potentially as soon as 100 million years after the Big Bang. This earlier start would have allowed more time for multiple stellar generations to form and enrich their environments before we observe them at 300 million years post Big Bang. Alternatively, frequent galaxy mergers in the early universe could have played a key role. These rapid cosmic collisions would have merged young galaxies, pooling their chemical content and accelerating the enrichment process far faster than expected. The discovery of abundant oxygen is especially significant. Oxygen is one of the most common heavy elements in the universe today and is a key player in galactic chemistry. It forms deep inside massive stars and is released when those stars explode. Looking forward, the Webb telescope will continue hunting for more early galaxies, while future upgrades to ALMA will make it even more sensitive. This could soon allow astronomers to detect other elements beyond oxygen in these distant galaxies, offering deeper insight into the early chapters of cosmic history. Upcoming astronomical facilities like the Square Kilometer Array and the Extremely Large Telescope will soon provide additional complementary data across different wavelengths, giving scientists an even fuller, multi-dimensional view of these ancient galaxies. These new observatories will be crucial for confirming the presence of heavy elements in other early galaxies and for uncovering the broader structure of the young universe. In response to these groundbreaking discoveries, Astronomers are already updating their theoretical models to reflect this faster-than-expected timeline of galaxy evolution. Researchers are building new simulations that factor in different star formation rates, revised initial mass functions, and new ways that heavy elements might have spread and mixed throughout the first galaxies. As more observations come in, these updated models will be tested and refined, creating a powerful feedback loop between theory and observation. This process will gradually sharpen our understanding of how the earliest galaxies formed and evolved. 
One of the most exciting implications of this discovery is its potential connection to the early habitability of the universe. Oxygen isn't just critical for shaping galaxies, it's also a fundamental building block for life as we know it. The presence of oxygen and other heavy elements so early in cosmic history suggests that the materials necessary for forming rocky planets, and possibly for life, may have been available much sooner than previously believed. Although the oxygen detected in Jade's GSC-140 exists in its gaseous form in the interstellar medium, its presence is still a strong indicator. It means that the chemical foundations for rocky planets could have been established far earlier than our models used to predict. If planet formation began earlier, this discovery could push back the potential timeline for the emergence of life across the universe, inviting us to rethink how quickly habitable worlds could have formed after the Big Bang. As astronomers continue to expand the horizons of what we can observe across both distance and time, they move ever closer tackling one of humanity's most profound mysteries. How common might life truly be in the universe? Perhaps the most remarkable takeaway from this discovery is a humbling reminder. The cosmos is still full of surprises. As Stefano Carniani put it, this detection has opened a excited brand new perspective on the earliest stages of galaxy evolution. Each time we enhance our ability to observe the distant universe, we uncover phenomena that defy our expectations and compel us to rethink the story of cosmic history from its very beginning. Thank you for joining us. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars and your curiosity alive.